just starts going. Mm. Yep. Why a mesh? What's going on, guys? Today is April 4th, 2023. It's about 2 o'clock p.m. And we're going to get started on a, a nice big job. Or not big job, but for two guys, it's pretty big. Hey, hey. What's up? Happy 2023 season, pal. I'm excited. First, well, second job of the season, second but we didn't job. film the first one. No. Nope. First one was a little paver walkway repair. Leveled off some precast steps. Didn't bring the camera along on that one. But this is officially the first new install of 2023. Let's get to the job and I'll show you guys around. How you doing everyone? I'm super pumped to get this 2023 season started. I'm gonna show you guys around this, this job coming up here. We're doing a front walkway with a little sitting wall and it's gonna tie into a walkway that goes down the right side of the house. Pretty fun little job to start off the season. A little bit of paver work and concrete block wall work. So like I said in the, the previous video on my channel, I'm going to be trying to stay up to date with um, the projects that we're doing. And this video that you're watching is from what we did last week. Like I said at the beginning that this is April 4th on this day and it's April 10th right now as I edit this video. Benny, seriously though, 2023 season, dude, it's gonna be lit. It's gonna be freaking amazing. You already took your vacation before work started, so we're good for a while. Yep. No vacations planned till next year. Yep. There's no new variant from COVID that I've heard of yet. Not yet. Things are looking up, guys. Quick walk through here, guys. It's right on a lake. You can kind of see this white line here. It's just roughly our excavation mark, but we got a walkway, paper walkway going down to the end of the house. We're replacing this stone wall with a concrete block wall. And we're gonna be pulling out all this concrete and installing a paver walkway. So nice fun little job. Like I said, it's the afternoon. It's about 2.30 now. And um, we're just gonna try to get a load or two of these these stones out of here so um we got a good head start for tomorrow let's do it ben what's your first reaction to this bud looks good be a cool little project huh the blues what saves yeah he's gonna save those he wants to do some like steps down by the water mm. cool let's get started got the mt100 and you guys that were following along, I am getting my own skid steer. I purchased a skid steer. I'm curious to see what you guys might think that I bought. It's purchased, I got the deposit down, but we're waiting for it to come in. And just like every other machine provider, they're giving you the run around Benny, right? They said it'd be here for uh, late March, early April. We're into early April. Probably a few more weeks, they said. That's how they get you. That's how they get you. They get your deposit. You can't go, I mean, you can go get your deposit back, but then what, go buy another machine and wait eight weeks more? Oh well. start digging in you know so for the snakeies <laughs> oh that's a big boy 
Some good stepping stones in here. Oh yeah, for sure. Why would you? Oh my gosh. Be so loud, Ben. That's one load, bud. I don't know if we'll get all the rest in another, but. There's probably still some buried here that we can't see. Oh, there definitely is. But, I mean, if we can go dump that, come back and grab another, we're off to a good start tomorrow. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I definitely want to go back a little further. We got some, a couple loads to stack up. Some meat. Bro, my neighbors must think I'm a rock hoarder, bro.
I'm gonna hold this, back it up, and then yeah, probably get me right, right there. All right. Good. I know, right? There it goes. The pie drive forward. Recording, bud. Welcome. All right, one load of stones out, dumped. I will be using those rocks around my house. I got a few elevation changes in the backyard, and I'll get around to it someday. Any of you guys in the industry know it's like you just kind of hoard this stuff, or you end up hoarding it on accident. <laughs> So a lot of those rocks that were mixed in right there are good for stepping stones. So as I sort through that, at some point this year, I'll probably palletize a lot of those and um, put them aside. Maybe I'll have a job where someone needs some steppers and I'll have them, I'll have them to, uh, to use instead of having to go buy them. A little low on air in this back tire here. Bought this last year. It's just a little portable air compressor. Runs off of my um, power tool batteries, Ryobi. Gonna turn it on, put your pressure up to where you want it. I want 70. Actually tells you the pressure on it too. It's got 34 psi right now. Definitely low. Let that run. Yeah, that little Ryobi air compressor is sweet. It just hooks into the power tool batteries, and it's actually gotten me out of quite a few binds already. Just need a little bit of air on the job site. You just hook it up and walk away. It's pretty sweet. But um, those tires need to be replaced on that dump trailer. So actually, as I speak, I'm going to be going tomorrow to get some new tires put on. Nothing fancy. Just something to replace those, those worn-out tires. And... Um, like I had mentioned earlier, I did purchase a skid steer. I'd love to know what you guys think in the comments below, which make and model I bought. I'm not going to tell it yet. I'm going to reveal it once I actually go pick it up and um, the deal is done. But let me know in the comments below what you think the make and the model of it is. I'm curious to see if any of you will guess it. But like I said, I'm going tomorrow to get um, new tires on that trailer. And it will probably be better off for when I go to get that new machine because I'll be putting some wear and tear on them. And I don't want to put a new heavy machine on that trailer and have the tires uh, blow out on me or anything like that. So get those replaced. Get uh, 2023 off to a good start. Just do some general maintenance. But with this project here, I knew I was going to be taking about three loads of stones out of here. And I also got two to three loads of concrete that I have to remove as well. And that's going to be the next portion of this project is jackhammering out all that concrete and loading it up and taking it away so that we can get down to excavating and get down to our subsoil that we need so we can start backfilling.
bad day, pal. Not a bad day. Oh. We got the wheelbarrow here? Oh, yeah, there it is. All right. Let's do it. That wall just doesn't look very good, Benny. I know they capped it with with stone. That's summer, dude. That's definitely summer. Just kind of leaning forward, floating. <laughs> dude, look at the trees growing in front of that house. Yeah. The roots are probably in the living room. You gotta love these like lake neighborhoods, bro. Like. They don't allow, like, no town lets any neighborhood develop the way that lake neighborhoods do, man. Because they just, they let anything go on lake neighborhoods. And it's kind of, like, ridiculous because I think it's just a loose stone. Huh? I think it's just a loose stone. Oh, not today, bud. <laughs> <laughs> not today, bud. Thank you. Don't thank me. I didn't let you go by. Oh, moosecapes, dude. What? Look at that trailer. It's doing a backflip, back. dude. I think he's got the mower in it. <laughs> dude, look at that weeping. What is that, a weeping juniper, dude? Wow. That's beautiful. Look at all the boxes, dude. Mailman, don't come down here. Nope. <laughs> they sit here forever, dude. Oh my gosh, dude. Mailman does not go down that road. I sent it. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you, bud. Stuck with the trailer. <laughs> Just stop right in front of me. We clear over there? No. Now? Send it. What? My bud told me to send it. So I sent it. Oh, second day back at it, Benny. Yeah. What do you think, man? I think I'm Chad. I know the first half wasn't bad, but all those stones, man, that's, that stuff's heavy, dude. Hey! <laughs> I'm pretty sure they heard me. Guy's got equipment. Two skids, a mini, and I seen a, a dingo there, too. That's right. Here with load number two. All right guys, that's it for today. We're gonna go back there in the morning and start breaking up concrete and removing the rest of the stones from the stone wall. So we'll see you guys in the morning. Morning, bud. Morning. Went from 64 and sunny yesterday to 40 and breezy, huh? Yeah, it's cold. Had to go from the shorts back to the pants again. But we're here, we got a jackhammer. Time to start ripping up some concrete. How do you want to do it? How do you want to do it? Don't put any pressure on that. <laughs> I'll grab that thing. You got it? I just need the extension cord in the back seat somewhere. I think it's under the Ryobi stuff. Go 
good old Makita from Home Depot. I think it's 80 pounds. So cold. Moment of truth, bud. Alright. Just starts going. Oh, I put it in wrong, dude. I gotta fix that. There we go. mesh yeah so unfortunately there's these first two concrete pads where we started had wire mesh in them it's it almost seems as if they were poured after the other concrete and the rest of the walkway because the rest of the walkway didn't end up having wire mesh so not quite sure why only two of them had it other than you know maybe it was an add-on to the original concrete walkway that was there but wire mesh definitely makes it a lot tougher to break apart and uh, remove it and get it out of there it just kind of locks everything together and that's why they use it but it didn't seem to prevent the cracks cracking or cracks on this this pad it all cracked and shifted but i think it's because they used a really small gauge uh, wire mesh that doesn't really hold everything together uh, structurally per se it locks it all together but it doesn't keep it straight and stiff like uh, you know a thick rebar would so all in all it just made it a pain to get rid of but once we got through these these first two concrete pads here things got a little bit easier
right, it's about three cubic yards right there. All the weights right over the axles. Good to go. I'm gonna have Benny go dump that while I keep breaking stuff up and while he's gone. Hey man, good luck out there, bro. Yeah, I'll be back. I wish you, I wish you the best. Tell Bill and Glenn I said hi. Low and slow, bud. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video right here. We're going to continue this job in the next video. So if you're not subscribed and you're a new viewer, hit that like and subscribe so you can see the rest of this job. We've got to remove the rest of the concrete, start excavating and backfilling, and then we're going to start building, putting the paver walkway in and start building the concrete block wall. So until the next video, guys, you already know. God bless. Peace.